Hi, my name is Kendra, and as you can probably tell I'm an avatar. I work for Pat and Warner, and they run Warner's Tree Surgery. Warner has been treating sick trees for over 50 years, and Pat has been answering the phone talking to the customers and lining up work, and basically doing everything else that needs to be done. Warner is making a series of videos that hopefully contains all the things he's learned about trees over the last 50 years. This is the third video in the series. It's about the danger the ash fly poses to the Arizona sweet trees. If you would like to help us get the word out, to other people, this would be a good time to like this video and subscribe to our channel, thank you. Arizona sweet trees have the same problems as other citrus trees, they have problems with insects, with being over pruned, with being watered incorrectly, and if they're in a lawn they can be killed by someone using a weed whacker. You see all citrus trees have thin bark, once you go completely around the bark with a weed whacker the tree will die. Most of the insects that harm citrus trees have natural predators, however there are very few that are lethal. The insects that have a natural predator will be controlled before they can seriously affect the health of the tree, because they'll be eaten by either another insect, or by a bird. So, for a long time insects weren't really a problem with citrus trees. The insects that will kill citrus trees are usually not a problem in residential neighborhoods, because the pathogens that they carry, have very short lifespans. They are however a threat to citrus trees in orchards. Practically speaking there's really no way to identify the species of many of the small insects that are in a citrus tree. It takes the government years to identify a new pest, and to do that, they have to take samples from many neighborhoods, plus they've got all the fancy lab equipment to work with, and at least one person with a doctorate, plus three or four people that are working on doctorates, and even with all that stuff, sometimes it takes years to identify a new insect. If you go to my website at Warner's Tree Surgery, come and look at the section of it on citrus trees, you will see many insects that carry disease, and generally the leaf damage looks alike. When someone comes out to look at your sick trees, they will probably give you the name of the insects that are damaging your trees. However, in most cases they're just telling you something that makes them sound like they know what they're talking about. What's important to know is that there are two insects that have no natural predators. They both harm citrus trees in the same way and if you know what you're looking for, they're easy to identify. These two insects harm citrus by interfering with the tree's ability to store energy. Let me explain, when a citrus tree starts to blossom, it draws on the reserve energy that is stored in the branches the trunk and the root system of the tree, in the form of oils, sugar, and enzymes, and it uses all of the energy the leaves produce plus a lot of the stored energy to make the fruit, and to defend itself against insects, and soil-borne fungus, which is in the root system. When the fruit is finished, the tree starts putting the energy back into the roots, the branches, and the trunk. It's like putting money back in the bank. After you've taken it out for an emergency, if the tree has damaged leaves, or if it's over pruned, or if it doesn't get enough water, the reserve energy gets depleted. In the case of the insects that damage the leaves, that I'll be talking about in a minute, it takes about four years to deplete the stored energy of a tree. So, the two insects that have no natural predators, are just as bad, as are the few insects that are known to be lethal to citrus trees, and at any rate, most of those insects take about 10 years to kill a tree. However, the ash white fly, and the Asian citrus leaf minar can deplete a tree's reserve energy in about four years. When that happens, the tree is unable to defend itself against excessive heat, lack of water, over pruning, or the fungus, and the virus, that the ash fly carriers. You can tell when this happens because the leaves will start to die on parts of the tree, and they'll be white instead of green. What to do? Well you must control the insects, and you do that by spraying the citrus trees with Organicide 3 and 1. You spray the trees three times a year. You spray in February, April, and in November. Each one of those months, you need to spray the tree three times, seven days apart. I recommend using a chapin sprayer that you can get from Amazon, 
for about $30, it attaches to a hose. You put the Organicide 3-in-1, into the Chapin sprayer, and you spray the tree. It should only take a few minutes you don't need to go crazy on it. If you spray it and 5 minutes later it rains, you're alright, you don't need to respray. After you've sprayed the tree, you need to fill the sprayer up with water and spray it all out, then you need to take it inside and wash it out with warm soapy water, if you don't, you will ruin the sprayer with one spraying. It took me two years of spraying to get my citrus trees back to where they should be, and I haven't had to spray them since, and that's been about six years ago. The way you can tell that the spraying is working is that in the spring, the leaves that the tree puts out will be larger, and more healthy looking. Well, that's about it for this video. In the next video I'll cover pruning and watering your citrus trees. I hope this helps you with your citrus trees, please subscribe to this channel and hit like, and if you live within 30 miles of Mesa Arizona and you want Warner to come out and look at your trees, just give us a call the number is 480-969-8808, thanks and goodbye.